Hello and welcome to Volts. Sorry I haven't been posting in a while. I've just been caught up in school and homework and all. So in this episode in Volts, I'm probably not going to be posting Volts. I'm probably just going to be posting Minesweeper and Yogcraft. But for this episode, I'm going to show you how to launch a missile. So first, you um put get your um launcher platform tier three. The tier three is the best ones. Tier one and two are okay, but like tier three has better aim on your target. So once you've set down your um platform, you uh put your control panel right in front of it. And of course you uh need to put your missile in the back of it. In this case I'm gonna use the red matter missile. And then you in order to uh launch your missile you need to power it. So you get these insulated uh HV wires and you hook it up to these advanced solar generators. Now what they do is they get light from the sun to power your missile to launch it and of course w once you uh power it and it's all done and all you don't need it doesn't drain energy or anything like that so once you power it all you're good so you have to make sure that the HV wire is uh pl is uh placed. I don't think you could see it. Oh, you uh it has to be touching the red button or whatever the heck it is in order to power it. Otherwise, it won't work. So let me just place another one down, and that should be good. Of course it's not oh it's not so it is but um so what you do is you get the coordinates and I like to use what I call what the it's called a radar gun and what you do is if I could fly over there whatever what you do is you right click on your target and it you get the coordinates and then you go back am I going the right way yeah you go back to your uh, missile and then you right click on your control panel and then it says uh, coordinate information transferred and you get like a lever I think the redstone torches work I don't know I haven't tried it before and then you place it down and launch it now I'm going to turn my render distance up so you could see what happens Of course, it's going to take a while because, oh, okay. What it does is it makes a giant, like, black hole, and it just sucks uh, blocks everywhere, and it throws them, and it's, uh, it's a disaster. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm not dying. It's probably, it's because I'm in creative, but if I go to single player, single, uh, uh, whatever, survival, I die. So then, and then I die again, because I get sucked into it. So yeah, that's it on this episode. I hope you enjoy it, and please watch all my other videos. Subscribe, like, rate, comment, whatever, and I'll see you next time.